What up, me team? It's your homie. I go by two, and I'm back with a new vid. I'm back with another vid. Good morning, good morning, good morning. As you know, got my cup of coffee. I'm not sponsored by this person, this uh company, so I don't even know how to pronounce it anyway. So, but lovely morning, man. Get to the grind, get to the money, get to the paper, put them hours in, forget what the haters say. Forget what people are talking about. Forget what, you know, you may see somebody have something and you want it, go out there and get it. Don't hate on the person. Hit that notification bell, hit the like button, share the video. Let's get into it. Subscribe and rope me. Y'all know how this go. Y'all be all in my email. Subscribe and rope me. Two. My bills keep me from my, my bills. All these bills that I have, I can't save no money. Well, you know how I get down. Y'all know how I get down. First off, admit to your own mistakes. Admit to your faults. Admit to understanding that you who? You the one that chose to create those bills. No, nobody puts you in that situation but yourself. Nobody told you, hey man, create these bills. Hey, buy this, buy that. See, a lot of people keep putting themselves in this debt and want to blame it on other people. Saying, oh, it's because of this. It's because my parents raised me this, 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 this It's because my parents raised me this way, dude. No, stop. I, I, one thing I don't like when people don't take accountability. If you ever be around me and you don't take accountability for your own actions, you, you will see a different side of me. That's one of the things I don't like, people that don't take accountability. You don't take accountability, you can't be around me at all. You blame the whole world, you blame the spaceships, you, you blame the government, you blame all this stuff instead of who? You. So I told this person, I said, what, what is, what's keeping you, like what type of bills is keeping you from saving? said it's high BMW I got. He said I pay $9.75 for this BMW. It's a 20, I think he said 2022, 2023, one of them. And then I'm buying this crib. And soon I bought the crib. Um said like a year later stuff started messing up with the crib. Now y'all know how I am with this buying this house situation. The only thing they don't tell you when you buy a crib, yeah, they be, yeah, you saving money, you ain't paying rent and all that, but when things go wrong with that crib, you the one that have to pay for anything that go wrong in the house. See, when you're an adult, you have to make adult decisions. You have choices. Choices can cause you to, to, to bring something bad to you or bring something good to you. A lot of us got unnecessary bills that you don't need, but you want it anyway. Like I seen this YouTuber yesterday, this nigga got two phones for what? What you got two phones for? To record yourself on the phone? It's crazy. Like, what you got two phones for? You ain't no big celebrity. You ain't none of that. You just recorded yourself on your phone. An unnecessary bill that you don't need. See, the thing is, you know, uh, a lot of people know especially black people just don't know how to save money don't know how to manage money you know 
Because if you ain't never had nothing, as soon as you get something, you want to splurge, you create all these bills. If you, you don't know about credit, you think credit is just free money, then you start maxing out your credit card. Oh, I ain't got to pay that back. Not understanding that you have to have credit to get stuff along with money. So the thing is, just like, man, you got to, you got to watch. Okay, put it like this. Okay, put it like this. Because you know you got, you know you got, uh, you know you got deals that you have to have. Like, you know, rent, mortgage. Um, insurance, car, yeah, car insurance. I'm gonna say car insurance. Um, especially health insurance. You know, dentist insurance. You know, like dental insurance stuff like that. Now, if you buy something, you gotta pay on it. Then that's a bill that a bill that's unnecessary that you created for yourself. They don't got nothing to do with your responsibility for the roof over your head when you drive and get to work and all that stuff. You don't have nothing to do with that. But see, people create these bills and not even just creating a bill, it's because of the bill that you creating is a bill that you can't even afford. You don't even make enough money at your job to what? Pay that bill, pay what you gotta pay off, You're using your credit card, and you buying this, spending a thousand dollars on your credit card is crazy already, and knowing you can't even, it's gonna take forever to pay it off, but you do it anyway. Now you got the what? You got the chains on your arm, your neck, your back, your legs. Now you're a slave to the debit card. To the MasterCard, and like I, you know, ain't nobody, ain't nobody perfect. Like I ain't finna say like I'm perfect, or whatever. But you gotta watch your bills because if you don't, then they will ruin you. Bills is like threats. Put it like this: I don't care what nobody say. Bills is threats. When you go in that mailbox, they do bills saying, "Hey." If you don't pay this such and such by such and such, we, it's going to be a problem. We uh turning this off. We uh sending it to the bill collector. We uh doing this. We come to get your car. Somebody right now got a car that they can't even afford to pay. Right now, they hiding their car. They hiding it from the, um, they hiding it from the repo man. I ain't trying to get back to the dealership, all that. You must remember when you getting these bills, you creating these bills. Some of y'all be at these jobs, y'all be thinking, oh, the job stability, you know, man, a job lets you go. And that's why I tell people to save their money for emergencies too. That job lets you go. Now you can't live the lifestyle that you wanted to live, you were once living, because you don't have that job no more. You don't have that pay. You depended on that job. You better depend on what? Your savings account. I'm gonna say it again. You better depend on what? Your savings account. And people be like, why you keep saying things two times? Because people can be distracted and be looking at something else and for and forgot what I said or didn't hear what I said. So that's why I repeat it when it's important stuff that I say that I want people to hear to help them out. So you ones that be saying, well, you gotta repeat, shut the hell up and watch the video. That's a good thumb there, but I can't do it because I'm holding the phone. But uh, yeah, man. So I was telling this, telling this dude like, what else? I would ask him, like, what else is he doing? He said he he also, he addicted to the strip club. I said, wait, wait a minute. We talking about bills. I know you ain't paying these. Ladies, no disrespect. I know you ain't paying these hoes bills. I know you ain't paying these women bills. You like, that too? What you mean? What you mean you paying? What you mean? Like, I don't paying the... 
paying their bill. I, I said, is you is you uh cuckoo for cocoa puffs? You paying their bills because you throwing money at them. You paying their bills when you gotta worry about your bills. And this a young dude, so it's like you're gonna make mistakes, you young. This a young dude, he like I think I know he in his 20s, put it like that. And you're gonna make mistakes in your 20s and all that. You're gonna learn. Cause I'm telling you, all y'all that's in y'all 20s, when you start getting older, like I said in the other video, things that you cared about in your 20s, I'm telling you, you're not gonna care about it when you get in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s. Because you're gonna get wiser and wiser. You're gonna be like, man, this don't even make sense to be honest. That's why I be telling y'all about designer and all that. I got to have Balenciaga on. I gotta, you get older, you're gonna be like, man, this ain't even, I'm wasting money on this. I could be investing in properties and all that and stuff. So that's why I say with that, you know, the world don't owe you nothing, man. Universe, don't owe you nothing, no favors, no anything. The mistakes that you made is on you. It's up to you to know what to do with your money. You know, everybody know what they're doing is wrong, and they know that what they're doing is causing them to be broke, causing them to not have no money. You got to take accountability for that. You got to get yourself out of that situation because if, like, if the job ain't paying you good, then you need to work somewhere else or do something on the side to where it, it helps out for that job and you have more money to pay for other stuff. We're in a day and the age, man, where you got to have two jobs. If you, won't, if you ain't self-employed and got your business busting and all that, you got to have two jobs. You got to have something because, and then you got to lower your bills. You got to stop living beyond your means. And a lot of people have problems with that. And that's all racists have problems with living above their means because people want this, people want that. They want this, they want that. They want to go on this trip. They want to go on that trip. You have to, if you're going on trips, for example, you got to, uh, some of these trips, you have to just, hey, I can't go on this trip. Hey, I can't get those Christmas gifts that I got last time for other people. Like stuff, you gotta you gotta get that money right. Then you could do certain things. Like a majority of Americans don't even got a thousand dollars. Some people right now ain't even got five hundred dollars. They wait for the next check to pay the next bills. And then once they pay them bills, they don't have nothing but like a hundred dollars left to their name. That's why I try to tell y'all, man, y'all, y'all, y'all skip over these type of videos. Y'all want to be entertained and laugh, but you got to get your finance right. And some of y'all is in y'all twins. Y'all playing around, joking, smoking weed, playing with your friend, playing video games. Y'all do, y'all girl going to the club and all that, joking, laughing. But when you hit them 30s, in the mid 30s, life is going to kick your ass. All the play around you done, your body going to start again. You're going to start feeling them aches and pains and all that. I don't care how much you work out, you still going to feel them. And you're going to look back at your life. You're going to be like, dang, you got this son. You're going to be, you're going to be like, dang, man, I wasted, I wasted my, see, this will work, it doesn't work. I wasted my 20s doing other stuff. Yeah, there we go. Ugh, I'm trying to get this light right, y'all. Hold on, right? Had to mess up everything. You know, like I wasted my twenties um, playing around, not taking my finance serious, and all that, man. So, see, life gonna throw you curveballs. Life gonna do all that. You gotta know how to swing. 
batter up. You gotta know how to catch a home run when you see one. See, I'm making this video because people gotta learn from their mistakes. And you got to understand that, okay, I'm not gonna do that no more. You keep putting yourself in a cycle, a never ending cycle of like, who loves to be, I'm, so I'm starting to believe some of y'all niggas love to be what? Brokey broke. Broker, I man, I've been brokey broke. I've been flat broke. I've been so I've been broke that that to the point where I couldn't even afford a sandwich. Like it's like some of y'all just love to be broke. You want to fix your situation, but you don't want to fix your situation. I, I man, I, I need you know I I, 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 I can't afford to I, I can't afford to do, but you can afford to be on Facebook all day. You can afford to be on Instagram all day. Twitter X, Y B C D F G H A out of middle whatever. You can afford to do that. You can afford to leave comments and laugh. <laughs> You can afford to tro troll, right? But you guess what? You can't troll them bills. You can troll everybody else. But guess what? You can't control you can't troll them bills. Now you can get on this video and troll, but once you get off of it, them bills like, hey, <laughs> I'ma stop what that song with uh uh Alicia Keys, unbreakable, unbreakable. No, your bills will keep you from saving, will keep you from having money. You got to hustle in America. You got to hustle. That's why the, the um, immigrants come over here. They hustle. They already got the hustle in them. They come over here and hustle. They're like, oh, I'm, I'm in America. The land of the free. Even though they lied. You know, so... You gotta look at it that way. You gotta get your money up, man. You gotta get out here. Some of y'all, I ain't gonna lie, some of y'all just ain't got the hustle in y'all. Y'all just want the job. And you can hustle the job. Get some more hours in. You know, some people, and it's crazy, some people be, man, I don't want be no job, slaving, all these hours, all this and that. And them be the main, them be the main ones that don't have no money. Them be the main ones that don't have nothing and be complaining all the time. Why? <laughs> yeah, them, I call them Gerber babies. You know, some applesauce. You know, save your money. You can live life and save your money too. Stop thinking about thinking that. You got to be like this person. You ain't got to be like that person. You can be yourself. You got to do what's best for you, your future. You can't depend on nobody. You can't depend on your parents, your mom and daddy, nobody, your friends. You can't depend on nobody. You got to depend on yourself before anybody. You got to get this done. You got to tell yourself, man, I got to I gotta start saving my money. I got to get rid of these bills. I got to sacrifice. I got to do this. Oh, I'm going to be one of those people that up in early age struggling. No disrespect to the early or elderly people that's doing this at the grocery stores and stuff. Still got to work. You don't want to be one of those people. I'm trying to save you. Make sure you share this video. Comment because you're going to... I'm telling you, man, you're going to have to do something. You got to change your ways, man. You're watching the video right now. You're going to have to change your ways. Or you're going to be alone with your friends. Not having no what? Money. I'm telling you. I remember when I didn't have nothing to my name. I remember how I felt. I remember being stuck in a situation where it was nothing but my fault. You know, 
some people that you know when I tell y'all about money it's because I know what it's like not to have it a lot of people be sitting there saying like oh man money like money ain't everything money like don't be the people that have money and they can focus on other things it doesn't mean nothing to them but people like us is trying to come up get our money up to do other things and live life comfortably we got to strive and grind out here no matter what no wasting money Another, I, I make a video about that because people are wasting money. A lot of y'all be wasting money. Then any grocery stores, buying unnecessary stuff that you know you don't need, but you keep buying it anyway. A lot of y'all got vices, gambling problems, alcoholic problems, drug problems, and that could cause you to not have money too because you got to feed your vice and no disrespect to people that are going through that so don't do all that I'm just telling you some of y'all dudes be out here you know y'all be tricking off spending your money on women that ain't even y'all's spending the money on a woman that's not yours is crazy she ain't even tied to you or nothing. But you paying her bills and all this and that. And that's putting a dent in your pocket because it's unnecessary. A lot of people just don't want to save money. That's why a lot of people don't have money. Like I said, where they say uh, majority of Americans don't have a thousand dollars in their savings account because a lot of American people don't want to save their money. They just like spending, spending, spending. They want to have the finer things in life. You let Instagram, Facebook, and all that convince you the AI, whatever algorithm convince you to you click on something and then next thing you know you like dang I forgot about I wanted to buy that then you you it keep enticing you to want to buy something all these little apps T move what Klarna Sheen all these little apps that sell these little um items that there's not even no too pricey. They low in cost, so they entice you. Oh, it ain't nothing but five dollars. It ain't nothing but twenty. No, no. It, oh, let me see. It ain't nothing but three dollars. Then that three dollars, all that adds up. Eating out all the time adds up. Don't want to cook. Want to be lazy. A lot of this is just common sense, but people want to blame the world oh aliens 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 is the reason why i don't have no money you can get a job you just don't want to work two jobs you just don't want to work 12 hours a day you don't want to do none of that but you want to holler and complain that you don't have no money and but you but You'll, you'll make them bills though. You'll create them bills and all that. But you, when it comes to want to work for something, you don't want to do that. You want to hand it to you. And something being handed to you, stories of people blowing it. Like a lot of people that won a lottery, a lot of them blew through that money. A lot of them blew through that money. So, it's up to you. You got to make the right choice in life, man. You got people like me that's on YouTube telling you what's going on. I ain't trying to be no person that, oh, you know, the, the world, the this, the world, that. All this, yeah, these prices too high. Yeah, I'll make some videos tell you about how these prices high. But I also tell you to save your money. Make better choices, not just no no pity party. I'm not with that. 
and you shouldn't be with it either. You listen to the YouTubers talking about some, oh, I'm, I'm tired, I'm sad. I'm, that ain't gonna do nothing but feed your brain and continue making you feel tired, feel sad. You need to watch some uplifting. Uplift yourself. The bill is going to keep coming no matter what. All that, the responsibility, them type of bills, them bills you shouldn't be counting as, oh, I got to spend it, I got to, no, that's just bills that you need to have in America to survive. You got to pay those. Now, the personal bills where you doing all this other stuff is your fault. And if you keep saying you don't got no savings, then you need to cut some of them bills off. I got to I got to have my Starbucks every morning. Well, you better you better go to the grocery store and get your little cure thing, whatever you call it. Get those and let that be your um your Starbucks. And you make your Starbucks early in the morning. Stuff like that. People, I gotta eat breakfast. I gotta go back down. I gotta eat breakfast. I gotta eat breakfast. I, 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 I gotta have my, my Mac Riddle. I, I, I gotta have my sausage and my, and my eggs. Well, you better make your, your ass better make some Mac Riddles and some eggs at home. Like, you, you gotta change these things, man. These habits. Look at your bank account. See what you spend your money the most on. And I ain't talking about your, your responsibility bills. I'm talking about your personal bills and the little miscellaneous, however you said, things that you spend on. Put $20 to the side. Put $50, $100 to the side every week. Do something. You got to start somewhere. But some of y'all don't want to start nowhere. You just want to, oh my God, like I, I can't take this anymore. Oh, that you think people gonna care about you doing that? People are like, man, I gotta get paid. I gotta pay my bills. Like, y'all fail to realize that.